Hello everyone and welcome back to our series of videos. Today, we are going to talk about inventories, a new functionality inside Track and Trace that enables you to keep track of your balance directly from your operations page. My name is Alvaro Jovet and I'm the head of product here at Finmo. As you can see, we are on the operations page of Track and Trace. And we have our workflows and our assets here. Also, you can see below the workflows, see balance. This is a link directly into that balance of an inventory related for that workflow specifically. Also, we will be able to find this functionality from the lower part of the page, side to side with the operations and the console. The console is the place where we manage and create all our implementations. We will talk about that in a future video. If we click here in the inventories, we are going to see all the details and the part of the functionality. We can create many different inventories, also different products that are going to be used inside those inventories and the units related to that products. Also, we will be able to keep track of a balance. So whenever we are adding quantities or subtracting quantities into those products, we will be able to see it here. As you can see, we have a list here of different products and they can be very different. We have renewal credits, circular credits, but also, for example, we are keeping track of cells and batteries. So as you can see, they can be real products being tracked across your supply chains, but also they can be different types of assets, in this case, sustainability assets. Let me jump into another screen that I have already prepared where I have my balance. Inside the balance, we can see all the list of transactions related into that product, in this case, the renewal credits. Let's take a look more specifically into, those, into these two transactions. Imagine a supply chain process, in this case, related into creation of polymers, with in this case also, we're talking about waste. We are working here with mass balance. That is a very common practice to keep track of products across supply chain whenever we are talking about renewable sources. In this case, we have two transactions. One adding into that balance, in this case was waste, but then using that balance for a polymer creation. We can see a transaction adding, in this case, sustainability credits whenever we are using, we are receiving waste, and then subtracting those renewable credits whenever we are talking about the creation of the polymer. In this case, specifically, we can find more information about the related asset. So if we click here, we are going to be able to see specifically where those sustainability credits, renewal credits were used. No, in this case, we're using this specific product. We can have more details specifically about the transactions that were made related into that product. No, Looking at the history, we can dig deep, deeper and even into the different workflows where we use those sustainability credits, looking at the specific transaction that we have listed inside the workflow, who did it, where it was done, even more, more details of the asset. As you can see, Inventory is a very flexible tool. It can be used for many different products in, every, in a lot of different industries. If you want to know, know more about Track and Trace and our different functionalities, stay tuned and look into our next series of videos. Thank you very much.